safety first, so I put on my seat belt and I also pull down the arm bar. To start the skid steer, I'm gonna hit the start button, wait for a minute. Okay, now I'll we'll take the parking brake off. Nobody's, it's all clear outside. Okay, so now we have the skid steer functions. We have our arms that we can raise and lower. We have our bucket tilt. And on this particular skid steer, everything is in the right handle. So bucket tilt, arms, you pull back for the arms to go up, push down for the arms to go down. To activate our rock picker, we are going to turn on our hydraulic flow by we pull we pull this back and we also touch we also push that button. For us to move our picker arm up and down, we use the buttons on the right joystick. That is up, and that is down. To move the picker from side to side, which we call it the carriage, we'll hit this auxiliary button up here. To run our paddles, we have not set up. So this is the pick them up, pick the rock up, forward. Forward's here. And reverse. To set the picker, we move the picker arms all the way down. We tilt our bucket back just a little. We'll lower our picker using the picker arm to a setting of about right there. The way I like to set it is the tip of my bucket and the little bit of the little bit of daylight, four, three to four or five inches from the tip of the bucket to the bottom of the end effector, bottom belt. Gives you visibility for rock. And as you, as you come up to a rock, you use bucket tilt to reach down and grab the rock. After you grab the rock, you pull up. So you would do this in unison by running the belts. Like with all farm equipment, there's safety concerns. And we strongly recommend that as the picker is being operated, not to approach any part of it within 30 feet. Also, if you do need to approach, make sure that the auxiliary hydraulics are shut down and the tractor shut off.